Thanks for joining us again here at Byte BSU. I'm Matthew Yeb. And I'm Megan Duffy. Recently, Pokemon Sun and Moon released for the 3DS, making them the seventh generation of Pokemon games. Fans new and old alike were excited for this game, seeing as it marks the 20th anniversary. That's right, and today we'll be asking the question in everybody's mind, does it suck? I personally really enjoyed the game. I felt like it was a really big improvement from the last generation, and it was a very strong addition to the series. While it felt a little bit hand-holdy at certain points, I do think it was a very enjoyable game for new and old players. Yeah, I agree. The beginning was a little bit frustrating with how they essentially attempted to run you through, well, everything. Yeah. But then again, that's mostly because I've been playing these games for 17 years. If I was a kid playing these games for the first time, I don't think the introduction would have bothered me as much. And so far, I'd say I really enjoyed the games. We're not the only ones who thought the games were great. Over on Metacritic, the user score for Pokemon Sun is sitting at a 7.8, while Pokemon Moon is doing a bit better at an 8.1. The critics are praising it even more, with IGN giving both games a 9 out of 10. They praised how alive the region felt, and I'd have to agree with them here. The whole game felt well put together. Interacting with the Pokemon made me feel like I was really there in the Alola region, getting Princess carried around by my strong friend Machamp. One thing I'm glad they changed was the removal of HMs. We can finally get rid of that one HM slave we so lovingly cared for. But not everything was quite as praised. Some people weren't happy with the change from gyms to trials, myself included. I felt like it was an unnecessary change and the trials just didn't have the same pizzazz to me. It felt like the games were missing something that they had in the past. I'd have to disagree. I really enjoyed the trials. It brought a much needed change to the series in my opinion. My main problem were the frame rate issues that the game currently has. This game was pushing the limits of the 3DS, and although I have the newer model, I still had problems when it came to double battles. I'm right there with you on that. I have an older 3DS and it completely murdered my game and has made some of the battles twice as long as they could have been. One of the possible reasons for these frame drops is a rumor that a third game might be released alongside the highly anticipated Nintendo Switch. If this turns out to be true, it could mean that the games were designed for the new console and ported to the 3DS after the fact. We don't know if this is actually the case, but it would explain some of the problems that users are reporting. Another new change brought to the games was regional variants. I think it really revitalized the series, and for the most part, they were really cute and brought something new to the old Pokemon. Have you seen Alola Persian? It looks like it ate too much lasagna and got stung by a couple of combies. We don't talk about that one. Other than that, I'd have to say I'd enjoy the games, and I really look forward to my upcoming adventures in Alola. Same here, but we're not the only ones looking to explore with our new Pokemon friends. Let's take a look at what you guys thought about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Same here, but we're not the only ones looking forward to exploring the... <laughs> I tried, tried to play it off. Yeah, I agree. The beginning was a little frustrating with how the... I can 